Welcome to another Pit Stop video and today we're going to be looking at some top tips for combat for war in Civilization V Brave New World. Tip 1. Always bear in mind your race's specialist unit. Okay, So if you look here at the German Empire they have the Panzer as their specialist unit which is cost equivalent to a tank but it's quite a bit stronger okay now so you need to think am I gonna launch my attack later in the game which is probably wiser because you'll have the Panzer available to you now if you were say the Greeks and you had the Hoppite as your specialist character you might decide well I'll do an early game attack because you'll have that stronger unit than anybody else at that particular point in time so, for example, with this German one, as I was saying, I have waited to a later stage. It's also worth pointing out, if your unit, your specialist unit, requires a resource, such as this one here does, requires oil, then you need to maybe locate a city near some oil or on some oil, or make sure you've got it available to your civilization, so that when you do want to launch an attack using your advanced unit in the later stage of the game, then you'll have oil available to do so. Tip 2. If you can, wait until you get modern armour. They are kick-ass units. They have 100 strength and their movement is great. Tip 3. Use great generals to reinforce and defend tactical locations. As you can see here, Berlin is my capital and I had this strip of land out across to Poland. Now, Poland decided to try and tap me on many occasions. And what I did was I built this citadel here. Now, citadels, they provide 100% defense. So they're, they're great. And then, to make them even stronger in your combat stakes, place a ranged unit behind that citadel in the location such as here. Okay, now that means that he can fire on the unit attacking your city down. Tip 4. If you can, support your land units with ocean based ship units such as the battleship here. Now you can see here at this particular location this ship was supporting the conflict that raged just outside Poznan. Now this ship became increasingly powerful. I was able to add an additional attack increase the range and also bombardment so particularly effective and that ship there was responsible for destroying at least five six seven units as they came across and tried to take back Poznan tip five as the game develops and you get into the later stages and you have the missile cruiser available to you and the battleship use them to defend your carriers especially if you're in games where people are located on islands further away and you're having to attack from the sea if you've got your carrier with some um, planes bombers based on that carrier they will be targets for enemy ships so use other ships to defend your carriers so you can launch your attack. Tip 6 use ships or planes or range attack troops to bombard cities before you actually attack okay and that goes as well for any troops that may be located around your city so use ships to bombard or ships or planes to bombard enemy cities now you may find that you have to position them close if you do then the cities themselves will be able to attack you but what you can do is allow your ship or troop or whoever it is to attack the city watch their health and then when they get down to the bottom of their health pull them back and then heal them. Tip 7 be conscious of your research, your scientific research new technologies that allow you to build advanced weaponry are key to battle strategy. If you have access to new technology that will for example build you the missile carrier or missile cruiser or the modern armor 
then you will have an advantage, especially if you get that particular unit first. So carefully watch your scientific research so that you get ahead on the military front. Tip 8. Pay close attention to your enemy's units. The reason being, you'll be able to see if your units are more advanced. So for example, here I have my destroyer, which is a very advanced unit, and the enemy down this way has frigates, which are far worse than my destroyers. You also see here I've got uh, modern armor, and the enemy has um, crossbowmen. They are going to be easy pickings. The only thing with this game is the problems you face when you have to attack over sea. But you can see over here I've got a carrier and he's got, what has he got on here? We have got some jet fighters. So we're pretty advanced. These guys are going to be easy picking. So they potentially might be my first target and also if they have more advanced units probably best not to. Tip 9. When you're fighting any combat have a look at your nation's happiness. So here you can see I have a, a very unhappy civilization. It's currently at 18 in the red. So what that does is when you attack an enemy if you see here this jet fighter I've hovered him over that city and you can see down in the, in the range attack um, pop-up here that because my civilization is very unhappy, I get a minus 33% to attack. So bear that in mind when you're attacking an enemy. Make sure that your civilization is happy and then you won't get a minus to your attack. Okay, tip 10 and probably the best tip if you want to win or get ahead in combat in Civilization 5, Brave New World or any civilization. Look at your units and think carefully about how you promote them. There are two excellent upgrades. The first one is your if you can get a second attack. Okay, that can speed things up dramatically. But probably the most important thing you can do for your unit is to increase its range. Now this is really important because it helps when you're attacking cities. You can see here I have a bomber. I could upgrade his range. Now that might mean that he can reach a city. could make all the difference in combat. If you can't reach a city with your planes or your ships or your units then you can't bombard them and that is key as I said before bombarding them so that the city strength is reduced and their shield strength is reduced you know that is key to the game if you can get that down so always always increase the range of units and it particularly is important when early in the game you're using something like a catapult or some kind of land based unit if you can increase their range by one then you can stay outside of the range of the city's attack and then you can just sit him there and he can just sit and bombard that city and the city can't attack back so important best tip tip 10 always increase the range of your units and there you have it I hope you like the tips go to my channel for some more uh, civilization videos tips and some long play and there's a video with a whole game hope you like it please leave me a comment really appreciate it thanks